Bom dia, mundo. It is surprisingly cold this morning. Well, I guess it shouldn't be that surprising. I'm making breakfast for two. I've got the fresh coffee out in the cafetiere. Just running the timer for seven minutes. Gonna have some fresh bread that we bought yesterday. Toast it up. I've got my dressing gown on because it was chilly. <laughs> Just a few more seconds to wait until I can plunge the cafetiere. There was a Portuguese mango left over that I intend to cut up and have for breakfast. This cafetiere is not great. It's got a little split in the side of the filter, so I'm thinking there's gonna be a lot of ground coffee in my cup today, but maybe we can go out and get a new one when we go to the shopping centre in Coimbra. I do believe the sun is about to burst through the mist and make things very hot. Probably similar to the morning in Luso when we first got here. It was really cold and misty in the morning and then it got to 12 o'clock and poof, super hot. I'm expecting the same thing. Good morning, beautiful dog. Hmm? Le bonita? Yeah. Like the coffee? Yes. It's nice. Only a budget one. It tastes good, isn't it? Mm. Just finished with breakfast and I'm doing a little bit of herb maintenance. <laughs> Landlady left a couple of pots of fresh herbs, rosemary and basil, two of our favourites. So I'm trying to, I don't know anything about plant maintenance. So I'm just like deadheading. I think that's what you call it. I cut off all the dead bits and I'm just picking out the stems that look like they're sucking the life out of the rest of them. I want these to survive for as long as possible. I'm also not sure how much you're supposed to water rosemary and basil, but maybe I'll Google it and find out. I do think that garden maintenance is a skill set that's been lost over the generations. To think that years ago everybody needed to know how to grow at least something as a survival thing and I think it's something I want to learn just in case you never know what's going to happen in the world. I'd love to know some things that could get you out of a pickle in a situation. I mentioned this the other day, but I also think that sewing and knitting and being able to repair clothes is a skill set that has been lost over the generations and I'd like to know it. I just think it's a good thing to know. Did you find Mary in the end? No. You know what? Did you find Mary? No, I have lost Mary. Oh no. Crochet kit Mary. <laughs> yes, Mary was the crochet kit bear that we bought from Sconch the other day before we left England. We brought it with us so that Sasha could learn how to do crocheting and we have misplaced it. So when everything is out of the bags, hopefully she'll turn up so we can knit Mary. What is this thing doing? Oh my goodness. I'm back on the bed, back on the bed. Need no dog is back on the bed. Hey mum. I'm being defiant. <laughs> I made Eden a nice little corner next to my computer. A nice little bed, biscuits, free strokes whenever she wants, and she's chosen to stay in here. Yeah, I know what I want. I'm still in my dressing gown, and I just did some googling to find out how to care for basil plants, and it says they need a lot of sunlight. Just put them out here on our top. I also need to get a mist spray so we can mist them rather than water them heavily because I don't want them to die. They'll rot apparently. Mm, I love to smell of rosemary. It's one of my favourite herbs. It is lunchtime. My video is exporting and I'm just doing some pesto pasta. There's a little bit of pasta left over from the other day. So we're going to have that for our lunch and some of this basil that Jay's been lovingly caring for this morning. There's a cat out here with blue eyes. Wow. Hello. What beautiful eyes you have. Yes. <laughs> yes. What do you want? Anyway, back to the lunch. I wanted mushrooms in it, Jay didn't. So we've come to a compromise and Jay has blitzed the mushrooms as small as he could possibly get them. <laughs> That is what they now look like. <laughs> right, lunch is done. 
Let's see if Eden wants to go in the garden. Eden, come. This turned out to be a really lovely day in the end. It was chilly this morning, very chilly. We even contemplated putting on the central heating at one point. <laughs> but it's now blue skies and it's really nice and warm in the sun. Nice day. Today has turned into a unexpected home day. We were actually gonna go out today, but it is half past three and Jay is still in his dressing gown. <laughs> I'm just making an Earl Grey tea and we've decided that it might as well just stay at home day now. We're both editing, Jay's been at the kitchen table pretty much all morning and most of the afternoon editing for these tiny moments and I'm on my second edit of vlogs. So it's just been a catch up worky home day and time has got away with us. So there we go. Tonight we decided we're gonna have a movie night. Soon as Jay probably won't bother getting dressed, <laughs> we might as well just make it into a full home lazy slash work day. <laughs> there you come, see though. This is a great dressing gown. <laughs> it was cold this morning, so it was perfect, but now it's getting a bit warm. <laughs> Eden's been sleeping in various positions around the house. I think she still feels a bit unsettled because we still have cases and bags and things out. So once that's all put away and there's no more things out, I think she'll feel a bit better. So we need to do that as well. There you go. When you look out of your window at home, what do you see? Does it make you happy? This is the question I ask myself when I talk about buying a home in the future. Something that I'm going to invest so much of ourselves into. Something that's going to cost so much. When you look out of that window, it has to make me happy. This house is lovely. This house has a view. It's detached, but it's not entirely isolated. And that is definitely a good start for the elements of what we need for our future home when we decide to buy. Right now, this is home. And so with that in mind, we put together a little nursery just for our little girl. We just put in a few items and all of a sudden it's transformed into somewhere she can call her own for now. We went shopping for Eden's food yesterday and we found what we think she might like, it's called cannelloon. I'm not sure how to pronounce it, but it's got carne, arroz and legumes in it, which is meat, rice and veg, and it looks quite good. I think it was only, was it 1.99? Yeah. It was 1.99 for all this. You get 1.2 kilos of carne, and it looks like proper chunks in there, which is what Eden likes. So we're mixing it in with her original butchers so that she can get used to it. What do you think of that? Oh, I think it's dinner time. Eden, you're sitting there all patiently waiting for your food, but I know you won't eat it straight away. <laughs> we know you too well. Last night and today I finished These Tiny Moments, episode four, Message to Baby. It's a good one. It's the one where we first go to Portugal and has some nice footage in it, some really emotional moments and it's just, it's an all round nice video. Click here to watch it. It's gonna be one of the last videos that we put up message style before baby is born. So that will be the birth video. We are gonna do one more here in Portugal, maybe two depending on how much time we have, but time is slowly ticking away and Sasha will soon be giving birth to our daughter, which is quite nerve wracking, especially for Sasha. 
despite the fact that we haven't put everything away yet. We are so very glad that the move from Thailand through England to Portugal is now over and we can finally start getting into adjustment mode for when baby arrives because things are going to change a lot, we know that. <sighs> I think we're ready. Are you ready, little miss? Hmm? Are you ready for a new arrival? It is going to be very interesting to see Eden's reaction to a baby in the house. <laughs> she's always been good with kids, so let's see how she does when she's got her own little sister to deal with, making noises that she doesn't like. <laughs> Go on, waggy butt. Go on, go get your dinner. It's over there. It's over there. <laughs> no, I'm just going to follow my mum instead. Oh. Made a bean chilli, which we always like now. It's a nice quick meal to make. We're still eating rice the Thai way with a spoon and not <laughs> with a fork. It does make a lot more sense, doesn't it, Sash? Yeah, it does. I, I don't know why English people eat curries with forks. We just do. <laughs> Silly, really. <laughs> Time to enjoy some dinner. Whee! Good girl. Where are you going? Whee! <laughs> Good girl. Yeah, that's fast. More. You're done. You want to do more? <laughs> yeah, that's good. That's very good. Lots of exercise. Come on, can we exercise? Sun has almost completely set. You've missed the sun patch. The sun patch is over there. I don't want the sun. You have to move your chair. It's the first time I've sat in these. Actually, not bad. Do a pillow. Yeah, but still, even without the pillow, it's quite comfortable. Not bad at all. Something I just wanted to kind of mention. Now that we're in Portugal, obviously, we've just moved here. There's quite a lot of stuff that we've got to do before we can get out and start doing things. I know that when we were back in England we said we were going to go to Cheddar Gorge and we never went. You just can't ever fully know what you're capable of being able to get done and what not when you are moving country like this. So now that we're here and everyone's excited to see us go out and start seeing Portugal for all that it is, everything that's beautiful about it. But first of all we need to prepare for a baby. We need to get ourselves settled in, we need to get phone numbers and register for residency and all that kind of stuff. So, day-to-day -day life is still going to continue, even though we've moved country. And just want people to kind of understand that and get used to the idea. We will be exploring because we love exploring. Just have to get our priorities straight first and do this. Oh, hopefully, you'll learn some stuff along the way and you'll still enjoy it because look where we are. It's, even in the garden, there's beautiful things to see and do. <laughs> Can't get the chair. <laughs> How does a pregnant woman get out of a sun lounger? You roll over. <laughs> yeah. There you go. Yeah, saved you. <laughs> vlog here. Tomorrow we potentially may go into Coimbra to have a look at the shopping centre and see what kind of things we can get there. There are a few things we need like batteries for the Tiffany clock and stuff pillows. like that. Pillows. <laughs> yeah, a few odd items that we might go shopping for. So we'll see. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoyed today. Don't forget to subscribe and don't forget to watch Message to Baby episode 4 which has gone online. It's a good one. It's a good one. It is a good one, <laughs> yes. It's very, very moving. So check that out and keep up to date because soon there will be a little baby on the way. Oh my yeah. goodness. Are you ready? Well, you ready? Actually, if there wasn't a baby in there, it was just I've been eating too many biscuits. <laughs> I would question what the ultrasound people were telling me. <laughs> Alright then, we will see you next time. Bye. Bye. It is now always my job to do the washing up because your belly cannot get close to the sink. Yes, I'm comfortable. <laughs> is this empty? Yeah, that's all to be washed. What about these plates? 
Yup. Aiden, why aren't you eating your dinner again? You always eat it in the end. Why do you wait so long? I don't know.